everybody, it's Lisa from Sweet and Sassy Treasures, and we are here for, it's going to be a tipsy list Tuesday because I'm here by myself. Sweet and Sassy Treasures is located in Michigan. I am an online-only DIY type boutique. I carry DIY paints and all IOD products and a bunch of papers. So if this is the first time you're joining me, I'm so glad that you're here. If you see live up in this upper corner here, you are in fact catching me live. If that's not there, then you are catching me on replay. Welcome, welcome, welcome from YouTube. This is only my second week and I'm so glad that you're here. So I put in the description that I hope you bring your patience because I got mine and this is my first time truly trying what I'm going to do. It's not that I think that it's not going to work. It's I think that I perhaps might not be good at it. So I'm glad you're here. Say hello. Um, hi, Tracy, Mary, Vincetta. So um, this is going to be super fun. Years ago, I ordered, we've all done this, right? A kit for an online workshop, like pre-COVID. And... Um, I ended up not doing it, and it had some sea glass in it and some other things, and I'm like, I'm going to put my own spin on it. So that's what I'm doing today. So hello, everybody. Um, still no date for the IOD release, but I have golden ticket news for you a little bit. We're going to do it a little differently this time. So there's so much stress in trying to decide what the golden ticket items are going to be that I am doing something different. So it's going to be golden tickets for everybody. And what that means um, specifically, I don't know yet. It's either um, something like purchase two items from the new release and you um, automatically get into the golden ticket workshop but it's gonna be something to decrease the stress, right? Because we all need that. Okay, thank you for sharing, but I'll give you more information. Um, I am gonna be live tomorrow. So I'm gonna flip the camera over and let you see what's I got going on here. I have an eight by 10 inch board and then see the sea glass over here? I'm going to um, create something out of that. Hello, everybody. Pam's not here. Pam had a doctor appointment. So I've got, I wanted to keep my configuration handy. This is an 8 by 10 inch board right here. And I don't want it to be um, just white. So I'm going to bring in some other colors. We did put a coat of white swan on here. So I'm going to use some white swan. Hello, everybody. I don't see anyone from YouTube yet. I wonder if my live is working on YouTube. I don't know. That would just be sad because that would mean I don't know what I'm doing. So I have um, some sea glass here. And I know that my sea glass is on the thick side. So I'm hoping that I can get this even open. Just want to add some interest and depth to this board. I feel so much better if I saw that their YouTube was on here. I'm such a rookie. So this is this is my sea glass, which is why I have a plan B as well. Let me just see what I can get out of here. I don't need a lot. I'm going to use a um, palette knife to get some of this out of here. There we go. That should be plenty. And I've got um, a container of water. My brush from the white paints on there, which is kind of good because it's going to provide me 
um, some moisture to make the blending easier. So I just want to make sure that I've got a wet coat on here. I could use a spritz bottle too. That would work. I've got one handy. I hope everybody's excited about getting ready for the fourth. It's the strangest thing because we have a get together tomorrow, which just seems so strange to me, other than the fact that I can be here for the dogs with the fireworks. Not that they're left for. Didn't see it on YouTube. It says that it's on there. You are live. Hmm. That's kind of, well, oh, wait, view on YouTube. Let me see. Okay, I just checked. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Um, and it was it was spinning for me. Thank you, though. All right. So if you look at this, like, it's just flat. There's no dimension to it. So I'm going to go in and just grab some of that sea glass with my white paint. And I'm kind of going in a haphazard, no rhyme or reason to the direction, maybe I'll get just a little bit up there, and then you can repeat this process and go back in with the white and even though it's the same color, it still adds another layer. So that was the water that I had sitting there. And I'm really, really happy with that. Vincetta says I'm on YouTube, isn't that? Hmm. I feel like such a rookie. Hi, Sherry. Pam's not here. She had the doctor. I'm getting stuff everywhere here, you guys. So, this is what's new for me. I have never worked with sea glass and on wood and with resin. So, I did take a little Christmas tree glass workshop a couple of years ago. So, I kind of get the idea behind it. But now, what I'm wondering here as I'm looking at this is do I want to add some old 57 just to get like another another color so my wet brush let's see what that that's kind of fun go back in with the white it'll mute it down a little bit look at isn't that pretty Aren't this there? Come on. There we go. Going into that. Just the container I have here with water. And I do really want this to be more white in the middle. So I'm just going to grab another brush. I just have this one handy. Sometimes when I'm wanting to cover a lot of area, the crappy brushes are better. And this is one of my favorite crappy brushes. And just make sure you go in different directions. Okay. I'm happy with that. Thank you, Vincetta. You know, I've never watched anybody online. 
So I love, 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 love this so far. So I'm gonna put those in place and I'm gonna use a drop of hot glue to keep the pieces in place. Now, I, I think that's frowned upon. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Hi, Denise. Um, but, you know, what I'm gonna do, and then I'm going to use um, art resin and that he has two to three minutes next time. All right, I'm just thinking. The other thing I'm thinking is I want to take, there's a little bit right here, a little bit of black velvet left from doing the sides of this board. And I'm going to take a brush. Uh, this brush should be okay. And what I want is, screen five and six days ago. Uh, and just go around that top outer edge like I like to do. I like the irregularity of that. Now I don't have any type of seal around here, so I'm gonna be careful not to get it where I don't want it because if I need to wipe it back it will it will smudge and that's not it's not the look I'm going for this time so I like all of that that's gonna end up being my bottom I think I just want to bring a little more like that into some of these edges and let's say you know oh we said you know um that's too much you can just go over it with paint I'm just kind of dabbing that on there i love that look of like an old frame oh i'll get better i'll get better at this for tomorrow all right, so I'm done with all of that. Then Seva clearly can see me though because she, I see YouTube next to her name. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I thought we'd just do a fun little springy 4th of July. Oh, you guys, I'm so sad about that. I wonder if I should go out and try it. Here, let me pull it up on my phone and see what happens. New channel. Hmm, live. Nope, I'm not seeing me either. Oh, okay. So I don't know, I can't find it either, but you know what, it's it's okay. It'll, it'll show up. Okay, I love this. So now let's look at the configuration of the sea glass. And I took a picture because I wanted to make sure that I got this right. So again, the sea glass, you can get it on Etsy. It was from a kit that I bought years ago. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing like every other one. You know, I didn't want to do that. Let's see here. So I, that's why I've got like two blue. This is meant to be just like part of one. And then I've got one more here. And this one, I have some other glass that I got at Dollar Tree like this thicker glass that I thought would be fun, but I don't know 
that this is going to show up how I'm picturing it. So I may have to go in a different direction. Shouldn't make any difference if different devices. Yeah. Hmm. So there would be, I wanted to do four. Let me see what that looks like. I think that would be good if I moved it. Maybe. Nope, definitely there. I like that. What do you guys think? I think I like, like, like that. So I have my hot glue gun plugged in. This is all for leaves. Hopefully. Um, these little guys, the flat tumbled black stones, I think are from Michael's. I'll get the hang of the YouTube thing for sure. All right, let me start. And I only want a dab just to keep it in place. I don't. trust myself to be able to do that. And that's going to make a difference. You know, you're going to, because this is transparent, you're going to see the hot glue texture under there a little bit. So, you know, that could definitely be a reason that you don't want to do that. But we'll see. with the black one it's not going to matter oops it's a little dab right there and if I go off my board a little bit that's a bonus I like that a lot okay this one on there oops Sorry, my bad. Me in town. <laughs> yeah, I know you can get this on Etsy. I um, I just had it. And I almost, when I closed the store, I almost threw it out. And I'm like, oh, ow, crud, you guys. Oh, that's hot. Where'd it go? <laughs> Told you you need your paste. Yeah, for sure. Something that's not, I don't think I'm going to hate it, but, you know. All right. Just a little dab. Pick it up. Don't get it on your fingers. If I had tweezers or something. There we go. Whew. That's touch and go. Okay, these there. I'm not sure exactly who the artist was. It was some sort of picture, like in a frame, and the frame. Actually, the quality was like awful. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Oh, Betty. Put glue on the canvas, not the glass. Oh, that would have been smart. And I glued down with Aileen's tacky glue. Thank you, Judy. That's good, too. Yeah, you know, yeah, I could, right now, right, I could take and just pull it all off. I got to tell you what, though, this is good hot glue. Because we 
went this far. Down it. Let's try the express glue and see what that tells. And do more of like an outline on there. Let's try that. I'm not sure that that's going to be better. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is. Thank you. All right. So now that I've got these all glued down, let's just do this all over again. I mean, it is really good. I think it's Gorilla Hat Glue. This is my all-time favorite glue. And the thing is, I don't really even need it to glue it down. I just need it to hold it in place. Tight bond dries clear, yeah. But like, I, it, even this piece is way overkill. because I only needed a smidge. You don't want to go this far, Lisa, and then yucky it all up by using the wrong glue. And I had a feeling that would happen. I'm not surprised by it. I'm just going to take my paint scraper here. I think I'm going to paint a flower arrangement this weekend. That sucker does not want to come off. I highly recommend Gorilla Hot Glue. I'm so disappointed in myself. All right, come on. Nothing like me can double the work for yourself. I don't know why I didn't decide this. Should I ask you guys for your opinion? All right, let's put that there. Mm. Once I just have the dab, that'll be easy. Like that one coming off the edge. See now. I could have been letting my resin dry. No, Claire, I um I got these in a kit years ago and never never did it because um I don't know the qual quality of the actual kit didn't didn't do it for me. All right, that one, I'm going to have to glue that back down because that one can be. There we go. So, and I have looked at um, for tumbled sea glass before so that's how i know it's on etsy so i don't we'll see how that dries it's looking um it's looking milky to me and these don't bother me those aren't bad this one probably needs to be fixed but let me let that dry for a minute that one's not sticking um and part of it is that it's so quickly after I painted it. But um, I'm, I'm really not, not too worried here at all. And that's 
So this was pitched to me as authentic sea glass, and I'm not sure because some of that green just came off. So I don't know. Let me unplug my glue gun, guys. Otherwise, I um, they burn out on me because I forget. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to put some stems on here, but this is from Dollar Tree, these big chalky ones, but I thought they made really cool leaves. Like, look at that. So if I were to put a stem in here, rotate that just a little bit. If I were to put a stem in here, I could have some leaves there, maybe down here. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the stems in first and I have all these things pulled that I could use for leaves. So to do that, I'm going to take, I'm gonna start with um, aviary, which is the darkest of the greens that I'm going to use. Where is Where's my water at? Hmm. Oh, that's all right. I don't see it. Hi, here. All right, let me get some aviary here. Don't need a lot. I'm going to use aviary. Oh, here it is. Probably some gypsy green and then outline in black is what I'm going to do. This brush um, is what I want to use if I could control and keep it on the thin side. I'm just not convinced that I'll have that much control. So I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to use a liner brush. I'm going to get it wet. I'm going to go into that aviary. That's all I'm doing is going into the aviary. Let me water this down just a smidgen. I don't want it too watery that it runs. That should be good. So get rid of this. Just go in there like that. And all I'm going to do now is just thicken this up a little bit. Because I want you to see them. And then get that all the way on there. Now I could paint leaves on, but what I really want to do is use the glass. So let's see. See what that does. Oh yeah, that looks good. Um, Let me um let me think here. I want to I want to be careful. Um, if I 
use this as a leaf coming out of there. I feel like it would need a stem. Do I just make it coming out of there, but then it looks like it's a petal? Oh, that looks good. All right, now I'm going to use Gypsy Green. Whoops. Which is right here. I'm not sure this will squeeze out or not. And it's just a little bit of a brighter green. No, that's not going to squeeze. Oh, let's see if I can get it on the top here. Good enough. Now, I don't care if it doesn't go directly over the top of it. So if you can just hold a paintbrush, you can do this. Okay. Let me think. Um, I think I'm going to do the black next. Where'd my black go? Right here. And I want that to be super thin. Wet that down. Oh, I'm sure I just got paint on my face here. Okay. And I could use a Pasca pen too, which is super tempting, let me tell you, because I want it so thin. Of course, I'm shaking here. Whoops. Going back to this plate, old fifty seven. Same brush. And I'm not necessarily going to do the whole thing, right? I just want to get some of this color on there. Add a little whimsy. Okay, that's got to dry. I'm not done with that, just so you know. I'll go back in with green. Um, I'm going to glue the leaves in place. And we know that's not, that's not going to stay. Maybe it will now. I mean, you can't learn if you don't try, am I right? As long as I don't shift, 
these will be fine. Hmm. And I don't plan, maybe I want this to be con concave, convex, convex. There we go. Okay. Let me clean this off. I'm really disappointed I can't see myself on YouTube. Okay, I got the green. So back with the aviary, so back with the first color. And then I'm just going to pull it over. Yeah, it's going to help tone some things down and get my layers better. So this is aviary. Okay. I am going to take that same brush. Sorry, I have to tie my apron. Take that same brush. I'm just bringing a little bit of white. Got some blue on my brush too. Oh well. And I'm gonna go just in a different direction here and there. I do have some blue on my brush from my plate, but just get I don't want everything to look quite so linear. Danielle. Back to the black.
I'm just not liking what's going on with the stems. That's why I keep playing with them. And I'll do that until I get it to a place where I like it. And that could be with them being um, all black. You know, back to that. If that makes me happy. Okay, so to clean this up, I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So i got to clean that up a little bit, and I'll do that with white paint. When the resin goes on here, it's, it's going to look, you know, different. But I think if I would have left it just at the real whimsy, um, stems, I would have liked that. Okay. But I didn't. Right. Just use that same brush. And see if I can't quickly knock this out. Just anything that looks sloppy. I'm just going over. Or too thick. That too. But that's, you know, that's part of the process, right? Is what do you like, what works, what doesn't work. There's a little bit, bit of a brush dragging there. And I got to tell you that I really like. So this just got super wide on me. Remember, the back, background's white. It's not stark white, though. So... This could show up in a way that I don't like. Let's see here. There. Just pull that up. Mm, that's all okay. There's that hair I keep messing with. You guys, I swear it's Charlie's hair. The puppy. Okay, we're almost there. I love when I do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So what do you do if it stands out too much? You just go in and you tweak your background a little bit. But I'm not... Um, I'm not seeing anything that I don't really like. Okay. I'm good with that. Live and learn. All right, we're going to be ready for the resin now. True, Betty. True, true. So I definitely have some white around there. That we all know I'm not going to be able to let go. So I've got what I like to call a scrubby brush. So let me zoom in so that we can use this as a teachable moment. See how the white really is around there? And 
that's not like my favorite thing. So I'm just going to take this crappy, this isn't the crappy brush I thought it was. Well, you know what, it'll work though. And I've got this plate with the colors I used in the background. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the white, put some water on my plate, a little bit of the white, some of that old 57. And I'm going to scrubby this. So I'm going to get the paint on there and then pull it away. And maybe, you know, I'll outline some things like I just did. And now it's going, you know, in a different direction than it was, but that's totally okay. If I didn't like the white, then this is a great solution. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a smaller brush here. Just kind of go in there. Ooh, that's kind of fun what that just did. So that looks good, right? Zoom out. And now all I need to do is I'm I'm liking this um having this kind of the random Kind of a wash. I like that. Like right there. That looks really good. So I'm going to bring a little bit in here as well. Get some more water on my plate. And this is how I approach paintings, pretty much anything. So I'm just kind of scrubbing and it's going out here. It's a very watery section of my plate. Hmm. If I knew I could move that, not sure why. I didn't just do that. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to continue to bring that. I can go with a wider brush now because I have some bigger areas. Water on here. same idea. And that to me looks pretty cohesive. This is the only part that I think is still a little off. So I just went over that stem a little bit. I don't care. That is good. Sorry, I know I'm not in. Zoom out. All right. I'm going to dry this, and then I'm going to mix up my resin. Yeah, the scrubby steps, scrubby steps good. It makes a big difference um, on acrylic paintings, too. I'm going to do, I have a ten of some roses in a vase that I'd like to do. 
So we shall see. I'm debating about just taking my finger here, some of these colors. So it's kind of whatever I have on my plate. Uh, didn't really need to go that heavy there. So I would take a brush, with water. Just, it's giving me a little bit um, more heaviness at the top. play with my background here just a little. More of a dry brush in there. I think I like it a little heavier along the edge. I'm just really working from this spot right here. Okay, darker there. Come on. Stop. Stop. So the resin does take um I think two minutes to mix. So this is art resin. And what I really like is that um they have a resin calculator on their website. Three full minutes. So this will finish drying during that time. Okay. This, I'm going to put a piece of brown paper underneath it. I'm going to pick this up gently because we all know that it's not really on there. And I'm going to take a couple of paint containers for underneath here. And that way, when the resin drips, it drips straight down. All right, I've got my part A and my part B, and then I've got this mixing cup. Hopefully that black paint's on the bottom when you know it's not. Hmm. And this resin, all resins are not created equal. This is what I like to use for jewelry. Because it's, you'll see when you, um, when it dries, which won't be until tomorrow we'll get to see this. All right. Here's the hardener and here's the resin. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm filling these up to 30 milliliters. which I think is way too much, but that's what the calculator said. Actually, I'm just gonna go to 25. And then I'm gonna wipe this off. So I don't know if I said this or not, but you can actually get this at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna do this one. The resin's thicker than the hardener. Right, let's see where 25 is on here. Hmm. 
make sure that that's right. Just a smidge more, I think. And I just got that all over my hands. So alcohol will work to get that off. All right. So I'm putting gloves on. This is kind of trashed. And I'm going to set a three-minute timer because you don't want to undermix your resin. I don't mind a little bit of paint on there, but okay. Um, I know that's not gonna work in that container. So I grabbed my other This will hold it, or it should. So here is part A. With the, the other resins I use, I pour them into the same container and use the graduated marks on the side. For this, I use separate containers. Move this over here. Now you have 45 minutes of open time once it's mixed. I'm concentrating, sorry. Okay. Siri, set a three minute timer. Three minutes, counting down. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it. Hi, Gracie. And mix from the bottom, scrape from the sides. Like you want this totally mixed. And normally when I'm doing resin, it's only 30 seconds, so I'll count. This would not be one I would want to count. And I should not be mixing it right over my project. Okay. So what's everybody's fourth plans? And it's really milky right now. There is bubbles in it too, but I'll show you how we deal with the bubbles. You take um, a butane torch. You can actually use watered down alcohol too, but the butane torch, about 10 minutes after you've applied it, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at the difference. I can still see it's not mixed very well. And the bubbles will pop. But you can do the same thing with alcohol and water. I just, I don't think it's quite as effective. Some people I know let it set up to um, have the bubbles pop. I don't know. I got nothing. Um, huh, I'm not sure my timer. Oh, there we go. So I'm scraping the sides and pushing them into the middle and rotating the cup. It's, it's definitely starting to get clear.
And that's how you know you're getting closer to it being mixed. I still have half a minute. We can, oh, Betty, that's wonderful. Yep, it's nice and clear. Let's spin this round. I want to get what's on the bottom, come to the top. We're almost at three minutes. My timer stopped. Oh no, yeah, it's, yep, that was weird. It's like seven seconds now. I think I have way too much resin. I don't know. That, that's the amount that it said, but it, it just seems like so much. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, this is all in place. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna drizzle around the sea glass. Keep it in place. Now the other thing, if you don't mix enough, you can add, which I really thought this was gonna be too much, but now, now I'm wondering. It's so fun. Just get that all around there. Okay. I'm going to kind of start spreading it a little bit. Again, you guys, you're pretty much, you're watching just about my first effort at this. Let's spin this around a little bit. So the reason I have it up on paint jars is if it runs it's not going to coagulate at the bottom and cause like almost like a sill or a or a shelf now what i have on that edge right there i'll just bring on to the side here eventually I want to make sure it gets under my resin or under my sea glass, I should say. I got to tell you, this is very gratifying. Boy, they were right when they said, should not doubt the should not doubt the calculator. And the resin just magnifies everything. So whatever you have in your base coat, that's why I fussed with it a little because I knew it would just really magnify it. So I mixed up 60 milliliters, which I don't think was enough. Like I said, I can always add to this. I am gonna drag this over the side. I'm missing it, and drips when dry, I missed that, Betty. I gotta look at that in a second. 
I've ruined um, nothing that was like earth shattering, but a couple of things when I didn't know that, I think it was Jenga necklaces. And I got that, I got that ledge. this around a little that if this falls I'm doomed you know the other thing that always boggles my mind is there are so many different kinds of resins. Like, how do you know which one's good? And that's where social media just helps. That networking. And I think the person I took that little Christmas tree class from was called Glass Shattered or something like that. So the other thing is I know my surface is not level here. Just shifted that a little bit. Yeah, no big deal. Oh, it's lazy Susan to be really helpful right now. I made it with the resin, you guys. All right, now I wanna make sure that I get it up here. No, I shouldn't have been, that might have been premature, my excitement. So I have to cover all of this. That was the big one. Sorry, you guys, I can't see comments. I'm so focused, laser focused. Now these, the ones that I got from Dollar Tree, because they're, I'm going to use the word faceted, probably isn't like the right word. They look really cool. I like those. This leaf will look cool too. But if you go on Pinterest and look at um, beach glass or what do you call this? Sea glass art, you'll see all kinds of inspiration. That's the one that was uh, like bubbled. Okay, so I'm going to take this on my fingers and run it on the side. I 
don't want it to drip, but I want it to get shiny. Hence the gloves. Okay, I'm gonna spin this. Hi, Catherine. There goes my phone. Let's see if I can get some more out of here. That part. Spin this around. And get that last little edge. So if you guys missed the beginning, I was talking about golden tickets are going to be a little bit different for this next release. A better different. Okay, I want to try and make sure I get all those edges. I don't want any big drip marks. Oops, oops, whoops. And I'm also going to want everything out of the way. Now you do have to babysit this for a little while and just make sure that things don't drip. So I don't know if you can see the little bubbles. Oh, Shannon, this release is so good. It is just so good. Um, I'm very impatiently waiting for my order. I don't even know what the status of anything is because um, nothing's been posted. So I'm going to go grab my torch real quick. And I know that the um, project I'm doing, it's a book slash journal because I don't, I'm not a journaler, but it's what I like to make. Um, it's going to be, Different, different than just not a just not a book. Um, doing this near paper always scares me. Just so that you know. All right, this is what I use for jewelry making, soldering. Oh, you know what? Seriously, this is just gonna scare the bejesus out of me if I don't get rid of this. One thing I'm very afraid of is fire. Okay, now we're good. This fell. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get you to see the bubbles. Hold on, can you zoom in? Come on, Lisa. Yeah. So, can you see the bubbles in there? All of them? So, you take your torch. And you heat it up, and the double the bubbles pop. And it is just the coolest thing. Let me turn this up just a little bit. Don't wanna I feel like I'm running out of butane on this puppy. Isn't that so cool? It's like, it's just so cool. And I still have some. So what I would do is, this is like my first pass. I'll wait about 10 minutes and I'll give it another pass. You guys, this looks so cool. I'm pretty excited. Sorry, I know that it's sideways. But look, it was like, it was okay. Let's be honest. 
it was okay, but now it's like, oh, and it was pretty easy if you, you know, once you get your feet wet, and I don't even see any bubbles, maybe a couple, but you literally see them pop right before your eyes. So I don't know what you guys have going this weekend, but I am going to, there is a, um, something right there. I'm not sure I should even risk this. There we go. But I'm going to paint a vase with roses in it is what I'm going to paint this weekend. Bigger. I don't know what size, but bigger. Um, that is it. This is going to be so cool. Oh, another thing. Not only like 10 minutes, I'm going to look at it again. I'm going to make sure I don't have any drips. But this takes overnight to dry. But you want to cover it with something so dust doesn't get in there. And that's pretty important. Okay, so I'm disappointed that YouTube didn't work. I'm going to figure out what's going on with that, and then I'm going to be live tomorrow at 4 o'clock with a tile, and then, um, I don't know, could even be Thursday. We're not doing anything. I'm just going to, if I'm painting, I might as well paint live. So have a great 4th, you guys, and I can't wait for us to see the results tomorrow. Bye, everybody.